Megan Bibb commissioners are voting to approve more than half a million dollars for the skate park at Central City Park tomorrow night. That money will go to the second phase of renovations. 41 NBC's Edna Ruiz shows us what you can expect. The Central City Skate Park is ready to roll with new additions. Yeah, this project has been a very successful project. The new skate park opened earlier this year as part of the $3.7 million SPLOS project for Central City Park. Interim Director of Parks and Recreation Robert Walker says it's been a big hit since. We have skaters here at 8 o'clock in the morning when I get to work and when I leave at 7.30 at night they're still here skating into the dark. First day I was out here, this place was packed, at least 50 people. Griffin Orr spends hours at the park every week. It gives us all a place to come skate, chill. He's hoping to spend even more time once a new skating bowl is added. 550,000 SPLOSS dollars can make that happen. A bowl is a, what you see on TV, a competition skate bowl, and it's going to go from 4 feet to about 8 feet. 4 feet being, a be being beginners and 8 feet being um, the more experienced skaters. Walker believes this will make it easier to host competitions, which will be great for the city. Definitely going to be an economic, economic driver. Uh, hotels, uh, people eating, people just visiting the city, maybe visiting the museums, getting people back into making. Making bib commissioners have to approve the funding before anything is final, but Orr says it'll be a great addition to the park. In Macon, Edna Ruiz, 41 NBC News. Now, there's no date on when the bowl is expected to be complete if commissioners approve, but the skate park is wasting no time on hosting its first ever skate competition, making SmackDown. It's this weekend from 12 to 7, and you can go to our website, 41NBC.com, if you want more information. That's That's